Hello everyone, this is Sagar Thakkar and welcome to the So this is 99% Dialogue Club and here we bring you the most exciting questions and the most relevant questions as per the CAT examination and the other examination. So this video we are going to discuss three questions of logarithm and this is the first question on your screen. So let's have a look and let's see the question kya kena so if log x 162 equals to m so first of all let us simplify log x 162 is equals to m is or no then what is the value of this in terms of m and n so first we need to simplify this right and now first we need to simplify this so see 162 can be written as 162 can be written as 81 2 sir and now 81 2 sir 81 is nothing but 3 raised to 4 into 2, right? 3 raised to 4 into 2. So it is 3 raised to 4 into 2 equals to m. So that means ki m equals to how much? See, two things are in multiplication. Can we bring them in addition? Right? Two things are in multiplication. Can we bring them in addition? Yes or no? We can bring them in addition, right? So that will be log x e to the power 4 plus log x 2 so that means m is equals to 4 log x 3 plus log x 2 let us say equation number 1 so this is the value of m right this is the value of m now coming to the second part n so n is equals to how much log x 72 Again, 72 ko agar main 3 or 2 ke terms mein break karna chahu. It is 9 8 za. Na? 3 square and 2 cube. Yes or no? It is 9 8 za 3 square and 2 cube, right? 3 square and 2 cube. So that means n will be equal to 2 in multiplication log x3, right? Plus 3 in multiplication log x2. So now we have the value of m and we have the value of n yes or no now we have the value of m and we have the value of n so from this can we find out the value of log x3 and log x2 no? from this can we find out the value of log x3 and log x2 see here it is 2 right here it is 2 here it is 4 so if i multiply this whole equation with 2 now if i multiply this whole equation by 2 so it will be how much 2n equals to 4 log x3 plus 6 log x2 and m we have is 4 log x3 plus log x2 so from here we can get the value of log x2 right from here we can get the value of log x2 if we subtract so it will be 2n minus m equals to 5 log x2 so that means log x2 can be written as 2n minus m by 5 log x2 can be written as 2n minus by 5 similarly we can also find out the value of log x3 right and uh, similarly we can also find out the value of log, log x3 if we put this or right if we put this or we can ag again simplify these two equations to so see here it is 3 log x2 and here it is only log x2 so if we multiply this equation with 3 now if you multiply this equation with 3 again we can get the value of log x3 yes or no log x3 we can get the value of log x3. if you multiply this by 3 this and this will be gone right 4 3 is 12 12 minus 2 is 10 yes so 3m minus n by 10 it will be like this right Anna? so log x3 will be equals to yes or no log x3 will be equals to 3m n by 10 right and see m is going to be multiplied by 3 yes or no fine m is going to be multiplied by 3 so it is 4 3 is a 12 12 minus 2 will be 10 and 10 goes in division and 10 goes in division now we have the value of log x2 and x3 now we have to find out what is the reason 
है ना इसके पीछे का रीजन है वी नीड टू सिंप्लीफाई लॉग एक्स सेवन 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 सिक्स लॉग एक्स ट्रिपल सेवन सिक्स वी नीड टू सिंप्लीफाई ना ट्रिपल सेवन सिक्स कैन बी रिटर्न एस हाउ मच ट्रिपल सेवन सिक्स कैन बी रिटर्न एस हाउ मच टेल मी इट इज टू फोर्टी थ्री इंटू थर्टी टू जस्ट चेक वन टू फोर्टी थ्री थर्टी टू सो नो नाउ टू फोर्टी थ्री इज नथिंग बट थ्री रेस टू फाइव टू रेस टू फाइव सो नो थ्री रेस टू फाइव एंड टू रेस टू फाइव सो दिस इफ वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू है ना सो दिस इफ वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू सो लॉग एक्स ट्रिपल सेवन सिक्स इज इक्वल्स टू हाउ मच लॉग एक्स थ्री रेस टू फाइव प्लस लॉग एक्स टू रेस टू फाइव Now this five can be taken as common. So log x three plus log x two. This is why we found found out the values of x three and x two. Now we can put the values of x three and x two, right? So it is two n minus m by five, right? Five plus two n by five plus three m minus by ten, right? Now log x. Pm minus by ten. If we just simplify, right? If we just five, this will be five. This will be ten. It will be pm plus four n minus two m. Yes or no? This is gone. Yes. This is gone. How much it is? Tell me. Three m minus two m. So it is m, right? And minus Minus plus t t n by right and a n plus t by to this the final m plus t n by plus this is the final answer simple the question is simple logarithm का question always simple होता है just आपको simplification करना होता है right and a just आपको simplification करना होता है and we have always seen that in always in cat right last year it was one question each na but before 2020 like 2017 se leke 2020 ka trend dekhenge to every year you got either two or three questions right either two or three question i will clear with this from the logarithm okay so one more fine one more see if log 4 3 this this r in ap so we know that see we know that if log a log b And log t, है ना? We know that if three logarithms are in AP, then we know that A, B, and C are in. Then we know that A, B, and C are in GP. This is the property that we know. That means if these three are in AP, arithmetic progression, that means three, three raised to m minus two. And three raised to m minus eight by three is in GP. Now, what does that mean in GP? That b square equals to ac, right? And now b square equals to ac. So three raised to m minus two whole square equals to a, and this is c, right? This is c. So for simplification, if we assume for simplification, if we assume that let Three raised to m is equals to x, है ना? Three raised to m is equals to x. X minus two whole square is equals to three into x minus eight by three. That is equals to three x minus eight. Is yes or no? Three x minus eight. So it is x square minus four minus minus plus four minus four x is equals to three x minus eight. So x square minus seven x plus twelve is equal to zero. And ah, so five two sir, yes or no? Hmm, four three sir, right? And ah, so x minus four and x. I thought it is ten. Sorry. So four three sir. And ah, so x is equals to either four or three. X is equals to either four or three. But we don't need to find out the value of x. We need to find out the values of m. 
x is equals to either 4 or 3 right so what is the value of x what is the value of x 3 raised to m so 3 raised to m is equals to 4 or 3 raised to m is equals to 3 so that means ki m is equals to kitna ho jayega log to the base 3 4 log to the base 3 4 ya to fir idhar se kitna ho jayega m equals to 1 how many values m can have how many values m can have two values right how many values m can have two values hai na kitni values possible hai m ki two values possible two is the answer, right hai na two is the answer for your theta question right ye theta question hai to iska kya answer baithega two answer baithega clarity in mind mein yes or no clarity in mind mein yes one more kya bola hai find the sum of all possible values of m given that this and this right find the sum of all possible values of m okay so if we all possible values of m let us simplify two equations it is nothing but two equations two unknowns right dono ko simplify karte hain sabse pehle agar main isko simplify karu see n equals to log to the base m 1 upon 5 raised to 6 it is yes or no 1 upon 5 raised to 6 or further we can simplify as log m pi to the power minus 6 further this minus 6 can be bought in multiplication brought in multiplication right log m5 like this tell me log m5 like this or if we further simplify then minus 6 log 5 divided by log m we can do yes or no log 5 divided by log m we can do we can do it like this right and now we can do it like this okay 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 so n equals to this okay now another thing we have is n equals to this n equals to 6 by 5 log 5m minus 6 and now see 6 by 5 log 5m minus 6 okay log 5m minus 6 so agar mein log 5m minus 6 ko agar hum log equate karte hain theek hai ki nahi agar hum log equate karte hain yahan se theek hai chalo agar main log log m ko chalo for simplification purpose for simplification purpose log m ko maine bol diya x theek hai ki nahi just for the simplification purpose main log m ko bol diya x theek hai देखो अब n की वैल्यू कितनी मेरे पास दिस इज n दिस इज n तो n की जगह पर मैंने रख दिया ये राइट 6 by 5 यस और नो 6 by 5 इट इज सी दिस इज log 5m तो 5m कैन बी रिटर्न एज log m by log 5 राइट right? -6 एंड इक्वल्स में कितना है -6 log 5 by log m bolo yes or no hai na n ki jagah humne uski value rakh di now m ko we have assumed as x yes or no this 6 6 can be hai na so it is x by 5 minus 6 into 1 by 5 it is and it is minus log 5 sorry minus log 5 Right, this is log 5 by right by x. How we clear with this? How we clear with this? Okay, so see, a minus hai. So, ye minus ko agar mein isko de do. So, thoda simplify or ho jayega log 5 by x equals to 1 by 5. 6 minus x by log 5. Hai na? 6 minus x by log 5. Now, this can be further simplified like this. Now, now this can be further simplified. Now let us simplify. Yes or no? Now let us simplify what it is. So log 5 by x equals to 1 by 5. This will be 6 log 5 minus x by log 5. Yes or no? If we cross multiply, if we cross multiply, these two things will be gone here. So it will be 5 into log 5 ka whole square. And this x will be gone here. 6x 
लॉग फाइव माइनस सिक्स एक्स लॉग फाइव माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर इज इट सो यस इट इज सो यस इट राइट इज और नो तो इफ वी फॉर द सिंप्लीफाई तो एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स एक्स लॉग फाइव प्लस फाइव लॉग फाइव होल स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू जीरो ऐसा बन रहा है ये है ना ऐसा बन रहा है एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स एक्स लॉग फाइव इंटू फाइव लॉग फाइव होल स्क्वायर इक्वल टू जीरो यस इट इज सो इट इज सो यस और नो तो अगर मैं दो रूट्स निकालना चाहूँ सी अगर सिंपल ही इक्वेशन हो तो फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स एक्स प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो तो इसके रूट्स क्या बनते हैं एक्स माइन फाइव एक्स माइन इक्वल टू जीरो बनते के नहीं बनते एक्स माइनस फाइव है ना एंड दूसरा रूट क्या बनता एक्स माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो अब एक लॉग फाइव अगर मेरे पास एक्स्ट्रा है तो मैं लॉग फाइव दे दूँगा उसको अगर मेरे पास एक log फाइव एक्स्ट्रा है तो मैं log फाइव इसको दे दूंगा दे दूंगा नहीं दूंगा बताओ है ना ऐसा ही तो है ना इक्वेशन समथिंग लाइक दिस है ना समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट मीन्स कि x की वैल्यू कितनी हो जाएगी इधर x विल बी फाइव log फाइव और x विल बी जस्ट log फाइव ऐस और नो इधर x विल बी फाइव log फाइव और x विल बी जस्ट log फाइव अब x का वैल्यू हमने क्या एज्यूम किया था log m, x का वैल्यू हमने क्या एज्यूम किया था log m, राइट है ना तो सी log m इक्वल्स टू फाइव लॉग फाइव और log m इक्वल्स टू लॉग फाइव तो फ्रॉम हियर m इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव फ्रॉम हियर m इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव अब अगले वो दिस फ्रॉम हियर दिस फाइव गोज इन दावर दट इज लॉग फाइव रेज टू फाइव तो फ्रॉम हियर m इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव रेज टू या सो नो m इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव रेज टू फाइव Either m is equals to five raised to five. Now five raised to five is how much? Five raised to five is how much? Three one two five. Three one two. So what we need to find is what we need to find is find the possible values of m. The possible values of m are, you know, sum of possible values of m are three one. You know, what is the sum of possible values of m? Three one three zero. Are we clear with this? Yes. So I hope if these three questions are clear. If there are any queries, then you can ask me. Na, okay. So till then, we'll see you with the more videos and do subscribe to channel. Do follow me on an academy. The name is Sagar Thakkar. Till then, have a good day.